Good evening YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It has been a beautiful week here in British Columbia. It's actually been a beautiful month here in British Columbia. Uh, great spring, hot summer so far, breaking all kinds of records. I'm actually filming in the evening. No tum, different kind of drink, usually I have a coffee. But this time I'll have something a little bit more refreshing. It's also funny because filming at nighttime, usually I'm filming and the sun is coming up over there, but the sun's actually behind me. It's brighter behind me now than it is in front of me, which is good. Air conditioner has been on in the greenhouse all day. It is a perfect 70 degrees or 21 Celsius in here, much cooler than outside. Outside is closer to 30 Celsius at this point or 85 degrees, even though it's 8.30 at night. It's just been crazy weather, really, really hot. We are breaking all kinds of records this year for lack of rain, for sunshine, for temperatures. Monthly and daily totals have been broken this month. I'm sure um, June was the hottest June on record for, for us here. But anyways, perfect for growing plants, right? As long as you have a good environment and can control that environment. So today we are gonna be working with this guy. This is my pineapple. As you can tell, it's gotten rather large. Now I planted this guy with you guys together a few videos back um well a few videos back i've i've had him in a few videos i mean um i think i did a planting video and i probably did an update video i'll put some links to those videos in the description below but basically what this is this is a grocery store pineapple i got to enjoy the fruit and then i twisted off the top well actually i twisted the top off first enjoyed the fruit and then i planted the bottom or the top into soil i tried three different attempts Two out of three of the attempts, they did rot. I didn't have that great a luck with them. I know a lot of people talk about they try the, the pineapple project and it does rot. All I can say is just keep going at it and eventually one will catch. Um, knowing what I know now, I would keep my mix a lot airier, drier, and just let it set out roots on its own. Um, and this mix here I think is a perlite and then miracle Grow mix. And it was still probably a little bit on the moist side for it. At least it wasn't airy enough, I don't think. But it finally took roots. It did good. What the problem is now is I don't think the pot is too big, but it's becoming wobbly in the pot. And I think that is because the plant itself has gotten so big that when I planted the base down here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see in there. We'll show you a close-up later. But the base I put a few, cent or a few millimeters below the surface, maybe a centimeter there, uh, you know, half an inch and that was in comparison to the rest of the plant plenty deep but now that this plant is two and a half feet tall i don't think it's planted deep enough in there so we're going to check out the roots we are going to for sure plant this guy down a little bit deeper some of the old bottom leaves have died off and it's actually created a bit of a stalk here so i am going to try to plant it right up to the top of the stalk hopefully that's going to give it a bit more stability maybe it'll send out some more roots in the stalk here and that would be good too give it a bit more roots and yeah it's doing good um i moved it in it's actually living in the house right now my house is is quite warm being the days are quite warm it lives in a south window there is enjoying the sun and i think it's enjoying the warmer nighttime temperatures as well i think after i repot this guy i might just leave him outside for the summertime though i don't know but he's huge and he's sharp and it's a great project but um definitely needs some space for some big plants after and these guys they're sharp i am um, I don't like him in the greenhouse so much because really I'm going to lose an eye one of these times. I'll bend down and <laughs> he's going to jab me. Ouch, like that. Shoot, that was sharp. But anyways, let's um, bring you down and we will unpot this guy together. Then I'll show you the mix I'm going to use and we're going to pot him back up. Hopefully in the same size pot. Hopefully he just um, needs to be lowered in the pot. Give him some fresh dirt. Now this project, he's probably two years old now. So... When I started, you know, he was just the top of the pineapple, a little stump sort of thing, but done really good. All right, so let's bring you down. All right, so brought you down. We're going to work on my little table here. Brought in one of these clear white trays that I always use, and we're going to unpot him. Now, as you guys probably know, a pineapple is a type of bromeliad. So this is a terrestrial bromeliad. They grow quite plentifully in Hawaii and other tropical countries. And... I have fuller fed it. He's actually had water in the crown before as well. I've really let him dry out um, in planning for this potting. These guys are great plants because they can take all the water you can give them, but they'll also take all the drought you can give them as well. It just simply just doesn't matter to them. So when I unpot it, I'm going to try to remove a few of these leaves, probably just by pulling them off. 
and then you know, really I should take it to the sink and give them a good cleaning now that I can since I'll be able to put them upside down. I don't want to get rid of all the dirt. He's not an orchid. I don't have to clean him right off. It's just going to be a simple repotting. All right, let's make sure you can see here. And I assume he'll slip right out. I've never actually repotted a pineapple before. And there we go. So you can see our good root system on them. Hopefully I'll be able to squeeze them back in the same pot. But you can see how it's all at the bottom and how wobbly he was at the top here. So that was what I was finding and I'm sure it just wasn't good for him. A mixture of perlite and miracle Grow. Although I said it could have been probably a little bit drier of a mix or airier of a mix, it seemed to have done really well. So, who am I to really say? I think it's just a matter of sinking him down into the pot more. I might just give him a little squish there. He's really um, quite conformed to the pot. I don't want to wreck any roots while I'm doing this. So I think now that he's flexible, I should just be able to like push him down in and he'll just continue to grow. Let's pull off a few of these ones here. The ones that are making him look a little ugly. Meaty plant when they get to this size too. Really meaty. I know they have to be enormous before they're going to bloom and produce fruit. Not sure if that's really going to happen for me. But there he is. Most of the roots went deep, so he was looking for quite a deep pot and he just kept sending down until he couldn't send down anymore. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to lay him in the pot and just sort of give him a little bit of a squish like that and then refill him right to here. Hopefully he'll stay like that. That would be nice. Um, but what I'll do is get rid of the... I'll just give him a quick bath in the sink, try to make him look pretty, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I gave him a little wash in the sink. I don't know if he came very clean, but I just turned him upside down and gave him a spray in the crown. Kind of a one-time only shot for that. I decided while I was um, in the sink, I might remove a couple more of these green ones here just for aesthetics purposes. Now, again, I'm no expert on these guys. This is just a little pineapple project I had. I have never successfully fruited one, nor do I call myself an expert on anything, but I think just to bring them a bit more down to size too, I'm just going to cut these off here. He's going to le look less droopy. You know, less droopy is probably a good thing. More perky of a pineapple. There we go. Throw those in the garbage later. So now we're left with that. Kept this totally dry. I did try to fit it in the pot and I think it's going to work. Um, what we're going to use for a potting mix this time, I'm going to just slightly change it since I have different ingredients this time around. We are going to be using perlite, a coarse wash sand, and this material is called turfus. It is just a baked clay. So everything that's going to lead to drainage there, and of course it's going to go in with just some regular old potting mix here. And I'll mix it all together. Just like so. Now that is going to be a very light and well draining mix with all the sand in it and the perlite. Turfus is a new material for me. I started using it mainly for my cypripediums, but it comes in massive bags, so I had to buy a massive amount of it. So might as well use it for other things that need good drainage as well. So there we go. There's gonna be my soil of choice this time around. Hopefully it's gonna work well. Now I know this guy should go in a bigger pot, but space is always an issue, so I'm going to put a little bit in the bottom first, just to give the bottom roots something to um, go in, and I'm just going to try to fit it in here. Trial and error, but I'm just going to squish the roots down a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see that. It looks like it'll fit nicely just like that. So.
And this guy got so big so fast. I mean, I guess it's been a couple of years, but I didn't expect him to be quite so big. I don't know why. And there we go. I think that's going to do it. Let's have a look. He's so big, I have to like back you up to make sure you can see him. Hold on one second. All right, here we have the finished replanted pineapple. So he's definitely going to be a little bit sturdier. I'm going to have to give him another bit of a water job, but um, I think he fit back in the same pot nicely. I know I probably should have put him in a bigger pot, but um, and I was surprised at how many roots he actually had, but um, space is just an issue and I can't have him in a huge pot, especially if he ends up back in the greenhouse here. So he's already big enough plant as it is. But by burying him a few more inches deep, hopefully he'll produce even more roots a little bit further up and stop that sort of wiggle. And it's already stopped a little. I mean, I can rock him, but not very much. So anyway, I think he'll be happy in this new potting soil or potting mix. Um, good for another couple years anyways in there, hopefully. Touch wood. And I hope you like this video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn how to do this in a little bit more detail, make sure you check out the links in the description to how you plant your own pineapple plant. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye guys.